Is it time to be looking for opportunities in the real estate market right now? Stay tuned to this week's episode of Prime Pops TV. Promise you, it'll be worth it. Good day, Toronto. Welcome to another episode of Prime Properties TV. So glad you joined me here and Coco here today. We've had this cute little pup for almost two months now, and it makes me sad and very happy at the same time because he's doubled in size, which means you're growing, right? Now, he's still a very cute little pup, but he's no longer super small like when we first got him. I have a photo of him fitting in a tofu container from when we got him. I'll put it up here somewhere on the screen for your amusement. But now, he doesn't even fit in like a large ice cream tub container. Oof, he is getting large. And yes, so we put him in plastic containers because he loves playing with them. So he's been our main attention during this self-isolation and he's been keeping us very, very busy. But I'm gonna put him down right now so I can kind of give you guys the numbers and tell you whether it's time for to be finding a good deal right now in the real estate market. Okay, we're now about a month into self-isolation right now and complete shutdown. And I've deliberately stopped paying attention to any news right now because it's kind of all negative. But from what I'm seeing and hearing outside of the news in my circle, most people are adapting to the COVID-19 shutdown and the circumstances perfectly fine right now, okay? Now we survived the first wave of what I'm calling the rent apocalypse without too many issues and the emergency, um, Canadian Emergency Relief Benefit, CERB, has been issued to everyone that needs it and has applied. Now, I don't have the answer for you to when this is gonna end, but what I am being asked a lot because of all of these things that have happened and it's kind of stabilized, whether it is a good time to be looking for a deal right now. And this is what I'm gonna answer for you in this video, okay? But of course, if you like information like this, make sure you give the video a like and subscribe to the PPDO channel and click on that little bell that has a be um, bell notification so that you'll be notified when I put up content relating to the real estate market during this COVID-19 time, okay? So first, I'm gonna give you a quick background into the weekly numbers that's happened so far, just a little quick update, and I'll put them on a the screen somewhere for you guys to see here. And you can see that we're getting less listings, which is expected, but we got a few more sales than what we saw last week. But then all of this doesn't really matter because it's not large enough of a change to warrant any type of reaction, even though it's trending in the positive direction in terms of activity. But if we look at from like a micro market perspective, we're seeing the same trends as last week. So for the condos, we're seeing the sales are decreasing and the days on market are increasing and the listing percentage, like the percent they're bought for what they're asking is also decreasing. All of this points to the fact that it's uh, and a decreasing activity in the market. And again, prices are decreasing right now, but the sample size is so small, I wouldn't really use it as a very indicative indicator of what's happening. What I will say is that we're now above three weeks of days on market, meaning we're past 21 days on how uh, quickly a property turns over. And if this continues as a trend, I'd say prices will start coming down very shortly, okay? Now we look at the semis and towns, all about the same as last week, days on market, listing percentage, all about the same. Again, sample size is so, so small for this two micro market that it's just gonna keep chugging along. It won't make any too much of a difference and prices just ignore them completely. Now for the detaches, we're seeing them increase in days on market as well, similar to condos. And I suspect if we continue to see this, prices will ultimately come down as well. So with all the trends pointing downwards, most of it, is it time to find a deal? Are there opportunities in the market right now? At this very particular moment, it's April 20th as I'm shooting this, I would say wait and see, okay? And the reason I'm telling you to wait and see is because I have a couple of reasons for this. The data, although it's trending downwards right now, you know, and you know that I've never been about timing the market because it's always time in the market, but I do suspect that we're gonna be continuing seeing this downward trend for a little bit longer. It's still, too early to be doing anything in my personal opinion and professional opinion. The second reason is everyone is adjusting to the quarantine life and has survived so far without uh, kind of any issues, you know, with their savings or getting a mortgage deferral. Those who aren't in positions to withstand another month or two or maybe three or four are gonna start feeling the pressure to list their property and sell, especially those who are over leveraged. And those are the times when the deals are to be had. So at this very moment, April 20th, there isn't much pressure for those people who are trying to get deals from. But if you are itching to find a deal, I would recommend you contact myself to kind of book a strategy session so we can figure out what the appropriate time and the plan specifically for you is. I believe a little preparation is gonna go a long way when the opportunities do present themselves, so you wanna be ready. Now, the amount of people asking me, is it the right time to buy right now, kind of 
anecdotally tells me that there could be a lot of people waiting for that moment. Now, when that moment is, make sure to click on the little bell on the PPTO channel and I'll let you know based on what I see. For the time being, wait, be prepared by schedule and call with myself and hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of what to do on how to make the next move. Hope that helps on your investing journey and stay safe and until next time, your move, your future. Now that you're done watching this one, how about this one? Oh, you know what? This one's good too. Ooh, this one's really good. You know what? Just watch the